Well, welcome back, folks. Now, you might notice that we're actually back, unfortunately, at the start of this level. Well, there's a reason for that, and I'll tell you what it is. Fraps, the wonderful program called Fraps that I have never fallen out with, had a hissy fit with me. Oh, yes. Now, Hypercam, I've fought and lost. I've lost that battle. I have accepted it, and I've moved on. Fraps had a little hissy fit. Then I fixed it. Or... <laughs> I can't even explain how I was recording, and then suddenly I got a massive, and I mean massive, influx of lag. And I couldn't do anything at all. And I thought, what the fuzz is going on here? So what I did was I, you know, stopped the recording, but then I got a message flash up on my screen saying, uh, please download the most recent version of Fraps. And I was like, well, I have got the most recent, well, one of the most recent versions, and it's working fine. Um, and it's, it's uh, I mean, I bought Fraps ages and ages ago, so, you know, it's a great program to have. And it's the first time in, what, three years that it's actually played up on me. So, you know, be mad at Fraps by all means, but just remember that up until this point, it's behaved itself. Anyway, welcome to the Crystal Caves. Let's use some ranged weaponry on these idiots. Die. I feel like Gizmo from, uh, I know they said Wizard of Oz. Gizmo isn't in Wizard of Oz. Die. So yes, folks, my afternoon today has been taken up with getting back to this point. Because it was from this point onwards where I actually lost desync. I hate fighting with desync. It is honestly like my nemesis. And I apologise that you've got to see this level again. Da oh, little, little gremlin. Time to die. And you. Ah, now these are the big things. These are the rhino tours. I think it's kind of a cheap name, you know. Rhino Tours. Sounds like a tour company. Which is run by, you guessed it, rhinos. Now where's that horrible little spinning crystal thingy-majiggy that cuts you into pieces if you're not quick enough? It's not there. It sucks being a perfectionist, you know, sometimes, folks, because I'm really... One little thing goes wrong, and boom. Nope, got to redo it. Start again. It's just how I am. Okay, now, now Dan, if we can get through here without you getting your ass burnt off, then I'll be impressed. So, come on. One. Two. Seven. Oh, fuzzy to fuzz. Ah! Oh, oh, damn. We're going to have to try better than that. That was... Uh, look, we need to have some dialogue, I think. You're making me look like a twit here. So that means we can now go through that far door. Not up that vertical ramp, Richard. And that was... Ah, no, it doesn't. We can't go through there yet. And you might notice that I didn't actually save state that area. Oh, yes. Die. Come here. Hello, Rhino Tars. I'd like to go to Spain, please. I do get a bit of slowdown on this level, folks, but it's not caused by recording. It's caused by the actual level. Something to do with it is there's a lot of 3D... Well, I don't know what it is. It's, it's, it's some way that it has to render on EPSXE, and it's like a known issue. It's only this level and about one other, I think, so it's still not too much to worry about. Aha, now... This is where we go meet a very special person. Who can get fairly angry at us, really, but let's see how it goes. Now, remember the two dragon gems? 
put those, the gems, into these little, little inlets. So stick them as deep in as you can. That's what she said. See, I set myself up for that one. Oh my god, it's Sean Connery. Prepare yourself, little man. I shall roast the flesh from your bones. Oh, uh, I see. Well, in that case, I will pluck out both your eyes. Don't do that. Great. I'm just going to give you a good hiding. No, you're not, Sean Connery. Is this kind of a mini boss? Oh, you set me on fire, you little douchebag. How dare you set me on fire? Oh, and I made it. Now, which is... Oh, stop setting me on fire, man. Now, whatever level you're on corresponds with a different... some different bricks falling. Basically, you can see, whichever one I use the hammer on, rocks fall on different levels. But I'm not doing very well there. I was being too slow. Do you mind, man? Just stop setting me on fire for a minute, will you? Okay, I got him with that one. Now where's he going? I think he's going back up to that top. Oh, fuzz. No, he's not. He run out and back in, though, folks. He resets and ends up on that top level for some reason. So if he ever goes in that door, run out and run straight back in. Oh yes, 50 HP left. You're going down, Sean Connery. I didn't want to kill you, but you left me no choice. Run out, run back in. Douche. To be fair, Mr. Dragon, you started that fight, not me. But I shall take it regardless. Now, even though he says it's a potion, it's actually armor, so I don't really know what this dragon was smoking. But it's very handy armor for a few portions of the game. But I always feel you get it a little bit too late, because, I mean, we've only got, like, about six levels left. So I don't really see the point of giving you it at, well, this point. Die, Mr. Rhinosaur. And you. Ali oop Ali oop Oh, well done, Danny. You didn't fall in. The fact that I'm controlling you means nothing. If you die, it's still your fault. Boom. 90% of that chalice. We're very close here. This always happens on this damn level. You get 97% of your chalice. That means you've missed, like, one little creature somewhere. Although, saying that, if we've got the... We've got one of the keys, so if we go through to the end of the level, perhaps there is another enemy in there. Now, I'm quite a fan of this bit because... Oh, it's done it today! Usually this platform bugs out and doesn't show up. So it looks like you're doing an Indiana Jones. Oh, you little fuzzer! You did not just steal my magic sword! Now, the problem with where that magic sword has dropped, folks... Whew, I thought it was going to make me actually leave the level there. However, we can now get the chalice, which is right back at the start. Just, just slow down, Dan. I know you're eager. But 
Just take it slow. We know what you're like with platforms. I'm warning you. Don't change camera angles on me like that. We're going to have to have some serious talks when we're done with this Let's Play, you know. You're not doing me any favours. Don't do that. And we're through. Let's get out of here. I think as I hopefully said in the last video, there's not much now that the Hall of Heroes will actually give us. As long as you've got the magic sword, that's all you need for the last few levels. What you got to say today, Mr. Gargoyle? This make a wonderful tourist attraction. Come see Stengard the Mighty! Come My see ey. the last of the centaurs! Ey. Oh, and see that dork over there? That's Daniel Fortescue, Oi. the hero! <laughs> you know, I'm sick of you, you stupid gargoyles. you got no respect for greatness. Now who's going to speak to us to... Ooh, it's the big queen lady. Daniel, there you are. I was so worried about you. Mm -hmm. I know you have the heart of a hero, Daniel. Now we must show the others. Would you like to take my magic lightning bolts? I, I would. Have many, but they're very powerful. I will accept. <laughs> Off your pop then, and keep your chin up. <laughs> I don't have a chin. Bad choice of words, my lady. Take care. The good people of Galamir are depending on you. The thing that gets me about Galamir, right, is that, well, let's face it, Galamir is quite small. I mean, from when I was in the sleeping village, it looked like it had, like, an inhabitant of about ten. How does it survive? Now, the lightning that she's given us is quite powerful. It's the only weapon that the gargoyles actually can't give you more supplies of. So, once you've used it, it's gone for good. Unless... Unless you want to be a little bit clever. Is this going to be the gallows gauntlet? Yes, it is. Helps on this level. I don't know why, but I always use the dragon armor on this one. Because these enemies, as long as you set them on fire, usually the fire's enough to kill them. If you put like. It's like putting a dot on them, basically. You know what? I'm going to try it a different way. I always do it that way. Why don't I try it differently today? I think, you know, I'm going to go against the norm, and I think I'm going to use me sword. I don't know why I've got it in my head that you've got to use the dragon armor in this. Ah, wait a minute. Hold on, did my phone just go off then? It seemed to flash at me. Nope, it didn't. I know why I'm thinking that you've got to use the armor on this level, because you have to use the armor to actually pass through an area. So I was nearly right. Hey look, it's Frankenstein's monster. No it's not, it's a mummy. Die. Come on you two. Boom. I mean this sword really is powerful, you know. Silver shield, don't bother taking that yet. Oh, can I get a four for one deal? No, I can't, is the quick answer. Come on, start trying to kill me and let me kill you. 58%. Ah, now. Just be careful, folks, because I've remembered the trick of this level. Do you remember the serpent that actually helped us in Scarecrow Fields? Well, that thing's brother is in this level. However, he's not as benevolent as the other one. 
and he actually attacks you and you can't kill him. So basically if you release him, then all he does is chase you through the whole level. Just trying to remember if there's a way of getting around him without actually releasing him. Because I think the enemies can do it as well. Oh, this is where you need the flame armor for. I'll just see if you can actually walk through it normally. No, you can't, so you do need it. I was never sure if the flame armor was actually required to complete the game, but obviously it is. Great, some oh no 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 no, that's the box there, I think. Might as well use these magic arrows a bit. That's the box there, folks. So do not hit it if you can help it. Hit all these switches. Because they're all important. Don't really use... Oh, it's released... Oh, fuzz. Is that thing released automatically, then? Where the heck did it go? Was that it then behind that thing? That's scary, man. It should have been in that box. Well, I'm not going to question it. I'm just going to keep running. I do not want to have to fight it unless I have to. Now that few little things have opened up now. The chalice isn't one of them though. Now the chalice is opened from another area. And it's opened from a little passageway that those last places opened. Okay, well we need that. Ah, there it is. Clickety click click. Chalice is free! Even though we've only got 95% of our enemies killed. That ain't good enough, I'm afraid. Where's that gargoyle gone? I want to stock up on some arrows. If that gets to 4 out of 5, I'll be happy with that. 4 out of 5 will do me. And I've remembered how many life jars you get. It's actually nine. Nine is the top number. It's a magic number. Come on, enemies. I know there's about two of you left, so where are you? Ah, through there you must be. Yes, you are. Nice try. It's getting hot in here, so take off all your rags. You are gonna be destroyed, cause I am called Sir Daniel Fortescue. Don't think it really rhymes, but it was my attempt. Now, where is the. Ah, oh, there's a the chalice. And we can now leave, folks. Level complete. I think Daniel Fortescue needs some, like, theme music. Something good, something that grabs people's attention. Who is going to talk to us today, then? I think it's going to be... I've got a feeling it's going to be the centaur. Or centaur. However you pronounce it. What a surprise. Oh, I've got something I've here got I can give you, but I've no idea what it is. Well, no, I've come here to get nothing from you. Um, yeah, of course I'll accept. Ah, life bottle. Good. Only three left to go. Top of my head, I can think where one is. 
There's one life bottle on the final level. That's for sure. No, second to last level. Now, could it be my favourite level coming up next? Could it be? Oh no, it can't. I'm wrong. It's not a level I thought it was. This is a level I don't really like at all. The Haunted Ruins. Otherwise known as King Peregrine's Castle. And yep, the Shadow Demons are back. And they're a lot stronger in this level too. Now we definitely need a magic sword. Definitely, definitely. Need a shield. Interesting opening of a level. You've got to scare chickens into eating food. Come on, chickies. You go eat that food over there, please. And you lot, come back here. Come on. Come eat your food like a good chicky. Oh, don't you be cocky and stay away. Get in there. Come here, or I'm going to have you for me dinner. Eat that damn chicken. Now. Eat that damn chicken. Why am I telling them to be cannibals? I didn't mean that. Eat that damn food. There we go. Now, this is where you got to be quick. And I mean really quick. You've got to nail those shadow demons we saw. As, well, within seconds, basically. Because, if you let them, like I just did then, I wasn't quick enough. I just I was only jumping off that edge because I was just checking that it was an edge. I did I, I was actually just testing, that's why I fell off. Um Damn you idiot, that was your fault. Now come on, be quick, Dan. I mean, the fact that I was slow again means nothing. Again, I was just testing. Uh, I, I was testing again then when I fell off. I mean, Dan's just a thorough guy. This is what he does. He likes to make sure that a ledge is a ledge. Sorry, I can't keep that up. I'm just sucking, basically. Okay, one down. Come on. Oh, we did it. Whew. And the trick here is to get a big club and go boom, 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 and fail. Hey, excuse me, what are you doing? Go away. You go boom, boom, boom. It doesn't work. So you try it again from a different angle. And it nearly worked. Okay, then it worked. Get yourself set on fire along the way if you want to. That's another way of doing it. There we go. It's all out. Then you stand on that. And they're gone. Now that's quite important because if they die, you can see that the chalice is already at 29%. It's very similar to the sleeping village, so if you screw up and let them die then you basically can lose your chalice. I don't know if you can... I think you can recover from it if you lose them all, but I think it's tough. Why would I want a pig? That's okay, I guess I'll take them. For some reason, that bit right reminds me of the Dark Knight movie, where Bruce Wayne's butler's trying to explain to him, like the Joker, when he goes on about his past when he was like in Africa or something mining gems. Don't know why. It's like those farmers didn't know those things were important. Oh, I don't know. I'm talking at me bum. Anyway, continuing on. Hate Batman. Die. 
Oh, I've just remembered, you gotta go this way first. Because there should be a rune over here somewhere. Maybe not. Maybe I've taken a wrong turn. The chalice... Ah, the, that's the chalice area. Right, I've got to go back then. That means I've missed a rune. The rune I have missed is actually fairly close to the start. And yes, you can fall off the battlements. Not that I've ever done that. Because I don't often fall in games. <coughs> Moving on. Jump over the cannonballs. Kill the demon. Climb the staircase, made of boxes. Nice, full elf again. We haven't been at full elf for a while. Come here, you. Oop. Right. You die. Can't go through there yet. You die. You die. Ooh, a chest. I like chests. Put that in the hole, and we are through. Just take this area slow, folks, because you want to make sure at this bit you've got as much of your chalice filled as possible. Need the fire armor to get through here. Apparently. Yeah, there you go. Continuing on. Looks like I've only got one way to go here. Or have we? Oh, actually, where's that lead? Okay, that leads nowhere. Nothing in here. Ah, see, I knew there was a platform trap there. Down we go. Let's have some fun with a ranged weapon. You know, in fact, we could use our lightning. Now, lightning is fun. Dead. Dead. There is a way to actually restock your lightning if you run out. However, it's a it's a bit of a costly way to do it. The only way you can actually get it restocked, you need that crown, by the way, King Peregrine's crown. The way it's restocked is that if you go back to the level or any of the levels where you can get a weapon stolen. Usually, if you get a weapon stolen, and you aren't quick enough getting it back... The only way to get it back is to go to a vendor and buy it back. However, at that point, it's a lot more expensive. So what you can do is, if you make sure you get your lightning stolen... How they steal lightning, I'm not sure. But then again, I am playing a game where I'm a skeleton. If you go back and let it get stolen, when you buy it back from the vendors, it's actually at full health again. So you can use it all over again. It's very expensive though, from what I remember. Right, how do I get back up top? I don't think... Do you go back this way to get out? I didn't think you did, but I could be wrong. No, I'm going the wrong way here. Uh, it must be this way then. I must have just missed it. Oh, I did. Idiot. Right then, now we can go back in here. Still dodge that trap. And slap this old crown on this funny-looking throne. 
So I thought is noblest of my courtiers, bravest of my captains. That's me. Oh, that we should meet at such a dark hour with the fate of this realm lying once again in your hands. Good God, Fortescue, what's happened to your jaw? <laughs> <laughs> Fell off. <laughs> I love that response. Bad luck, old man. Now look, Zarok's army of shadow demons hide beneath us within this very mountain. They prepare as we speak to invade fair Galomir. If we are to thwart his plans, we must bring down the castle on top of them. We must unleash the lava behind the floodgates. I can take you to the gate's control lever, but you alone 